In 1982, manga artist Katsuhiro Otomo created Akira, an epic six-volume series that ran until 1990 and was adapted into an animated film in 1988. The intricate plot involves a biker gang, a military colonel, a resistance group, government-controlled psychokinetic children, and Tetsuo, a teenager whose thirst for more extrasensory power ends up mutating him to horrific extents. Considered a piece of the cyberpunk genre, the influence of Japan's technologically inclined society can be seen in these mutations, as they take on a cyborg-like mix of man and machine. Detailing a parasitic alien invasion, Parasite by Hitoshi Iwaki was published from 1988 to 1995, adapted into an anime series in 2014, and two-part film saga that same year. Protagonist Shinichi, despite being infected by an invader, is somehow able to maintain his consciousness, and the two beings work together to fend off attacks from other assimilated humans. With its manipulating hybrids, Parasite owes much to Invasion of the Body Snatchers and John Carpenter's The Thing. Junji Ito published Uzumaki, the Japanese word for spiral, from 1998 to 1999, which was adapted to live action in 2000. In Japanese culture, symbols are of great reverence, and Ito subverted this reverence by making it a catalyst of horror. In it, a small town is surreally infected with spirals, causing many of its citizens to, in one way or another, take the form of one twisting both their minds and their bodies. A core film in the Japanese cyberpunk scene, Shinya Tsukamoto's 1989 film, Tetsuo the Iron Man, tells the tale of a young tramp and a businessman being contaminated with biomechanical infections, one intentional and the other accidental. A cataclysmic battle ensues and the two men are fused into a metallic monstrosity that aims to infect the world. Tsukamoto utilized stop-motion photography to visualize his character's superhuman abilities, and the film's lightning speed editing gave it a chaotic energy. The film spawned a sequel with 1992's Tetsuo 2 Body Hammer and an English language reboot with 2009's Tetsuo the Bullet Man. Following in the footsteps of Tsukamoto's film, 2005's Meatball Machine is nearly identical in plot. Two would-be lovers are infected by extraterrestrial parasites, turning them into machine-like necroborgs through which the aliens fight. The film's makeup and effects were done by effects artist Yoshihiro Nishimura, who continued the rampage of the necroborgs with his short film sequel, Meatball Machine, Reject of Death, in 2007. In 2008, Nishimura directed Tokyo Gore Police, about a futuristic war between a privatized police department, murderous so-called engineers, and the officer who finds herself between them. The film is a kaleidoscope, not just of body horror, but of absurd gore in general, including an S&M amputee, a half-faced brain monster with guns for eyes, a phallic-nosed eyeball mouse stripper, a human chair, a snail girl, an alligator girl, and numerous weaponized arms. And a lot of other crazy stuff I don't feel I can show. If there's only one thing to be said about Japanese body horror, it's that it's weird as hell.